Welcome back. Today we got some new doors, so I thought we'd check out all the doors. Let's get started. Oh my gosh, which door do I go through? Where's the money? Where's the money? So this is my door setup. So this is most, if not all, the ways you can set up doors in Stormworks. Over there we have the new doors, and over here we have custom doors and the older doors. And so I just thought we'd go through all of them just to see what the differences are now that we have the new doors and we have the old doors. Like, what are the possibilities? So the first door we have is the custom door. So this is what it looks like in the game, but let's go ahead and go back into the editor. All right, so here we are in the editor, and I just wanted to show you what this looks like. In case you're not familiar with the doors in Stormworks, this is the custom door and you have custom door blocks. So if we bring these out here, we have a corner piece, we have edges, and then we have the inside door pieces that I'm going to try to show you. Do, 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 do. Turn around, turn around. There you go. And we have the inside corner. Uh, let's put it right there. All right. And then we have the giant hinge block here. And then we have somewhere. There we go. We have the sealed door component right there. And I'll show you what these do. So what you can do with these blocks is you can build a custom door almost any size. And this door seals so you can use it on a submarine or a ship where you don't want water to get in uh, and make it float. But these doors over here that are custom, they don't seal out the water. So that's the difference between making a custom door out of the custom door blocks versus kind of hacking a door together with, you know, uh, rails or the sliders. So I want to show you the options for each door. This one has a robotic hinge and you can show the current rotation. So if you want to check what that is and use it in some kind of logic, you can do that. It also has the rotation target in, which I'm using a numerical slider and some constant numbers and then a button to turn this on and off. I believe it should be set to 0 0.25 is open and then zero to close. Okay. And then we also have on this side over here, we have this block where is it? This block right here, which allows you to lock the seal and also check if it's sealed. So let me show you what that looks like. So here's the door with power connected because this door does require power in order to open and close. And if we hit lock, it's now locked and we can't open it. So if I hit the open button, it's going to try to open, but it's going to freak out. It can't open, it's broken. All right, so we unlock. We can go ahead and click the button and it opens at 0.25. So I don't think that information is right. It says it opens at 0.25, but I think it's actually complete one. So let's go back over here. And let's just read what that says. Cause I th thought it said 0.25. So if we open it up here, the hinge doors has a range of motion of 0.25 turns in one direction. Maybe I'm reading that wrong. Maybe it means 0.25 increments. I'm not sure. But if we put this to one, we're going to fix this right up. All right, so here's our door again. If we click the open button, it opens all the way up and it says 0.25 up there. Very odd. So the range to completely open it is one, but it's reporting a angle of 0.25. So very interesting. Um, I'm not sure how that works. If you know, let me know in the comments below because that doesn't make sense to me. So the next door we have here is a door that's made out of rails, non-powered, and we can slide it closed and we can slide it open. And this is a way to do doors without power before we got the new doors, which are way down there. So let's keep moving. So before I move on, I want to show you something. This door has no power. And I want to show you this because most ships that I spawn on the workshop don't have power sometimes on default. And so doors like this just slide back and forth as the waves move, or in this case, the physics just randomly move. And that was a problem. That's another thing that those new doors down there fix. All right, let's go turn back on the power. So now that we have power on, this door is using the slider rails. And so that means they are powered. It's using a numerical switch box, a one and a zero. And we can just go ahead and open and close. And again, this door and this door will not keep water out of boats or submarines. So these are for decoration only. Um, but again, we have the new doors, so you may not need to use these anymore. So this door is very cool. This is a door that is usually used on submarines underwater because it seals. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the magnet here. And I'm going to turn on the magnet here. And so you can see they're both glowing. 
And now it's going to move forward. I think I accidentally hit it. And now it's sealed. So underwater, this creates a seal. Um, you can also do cool things. You know what? Let's go into the editor. All right, so before I show you the demo of this door, I want to show you the options. So this has an on-off scent, which means when a door is connected to another door, you can send an on-off to the other door. So I can send an on-off to this door. Okay, the other thing is an on-off receive. So we can receive the on-off from the other door, of course, into this door because that's what it's doing. And we can also do an open-close, a magnet toggle, and we can send a number. And we can also show if a door is connected to another door. And there is a number received. Okay, so very cool. And what I've done is hook up some buttons, some lights, uh, display to show you the numbers being sent, and a keypad. And on this side, of course, because it is a separate, say, pretend submarine, it has its own power supply and all its logic. So let's go ahead and spawn it and play with it. All right, so let's turn on the magnet on our submarine that's going to connect to our submarine base. So turn on the magnet. You can see they're both glowing. And I guess it's going to want to slide in there because of magnetism. Now it's connected. So now that it's connected, I have this door with this constant number send 2020 into the display. So this door sent this door 2020. So you might want to use this if you want to send some data from the submarine to the submarine dock. There's also a composite node on this door and you can send data back and forth through the composite. So if you're using like a microcontroller and you're being fancy and sending data or maybe you're going to control the submarine from the other com other submarine when they connect, you can do that all with this. All right, so what else can we do with just the basic logic stuff? Well, we can send a number back. So we're going to send 100. Now watch this. Boop. And there's 100. Ooh, neato. Okay. Now what, though? Well, now that we have a seal in the door, and say we're in the submarine, we can go ahead and we can open the doors. And because they're both connected, we can open both of them. So as you can see, this is great if you're building a submarine that's going to connect to another submarine or a submarine base or something like that, and you want to be able to open the door once you know they're connected. So that's kind of a cool thing. Um, it's worth mentioning, like, if I undo the magnet it's going to automatically close the door because it knows there's no connection between the doors so i'll just boop and then we close the door and then unlock so very cool you can play around with that if you have questions let me know and i'll try to help i'm also going to upload this to the workshop so you can play around with it um, just for fun all right so this door is the same as that door except a smaller version i've just hooked up a button so we can open and close it but it has all the options of this door in this little hatch. So if you're putting this on a smaller submarine or something like that, and you want to connect to something big, you can use this. Very cool. All right, this is an older door, part of the original door set, and it's just a sliding door that opens and closes. And again, if this has no power, if we turn off the power, which used to in the old days have no power, it just kind of bobs around. See this? It just slides around. So that is a thing of the past with those new doors that we're not to yet. But let's go ahead and turn on the power and just show you really quick. Open, close. It just requires an on-off signal. Same with this little tiny hatch here. Open, close. Yay. All right. So now the thing you've been waiting for are the new doors. And what's cool about the new doors is you can simply click on them to open and click on them to close. Look at that. No power required. However, what you can do is you can hook up a button. So we can click this button right here. And now it's locked. So we're just sending an on signal to this door and it is locked. So you can't open it anymore. So if you want to lock out people out of your cabin or something, you can do that now. Unlock it and open and close. What's it look like on the other side? I don't even know. Okay, no, no detail here. It's still very cool. All right, so we have a smaller version. It does the same thing. We have the lock. It's locked. All right, now the cool doors. So these two doors are kind of like these two doors, except these are like perfect for inside of a ship or a submarine. Again, I like the submarines and the uh, ships, apparently. And what we can do is we can click on it. It opens up. And go through. Close it. And look at that. It has 
door, what do you call these things? Like a door spinner? I don't know what they're called. Door hint, no. Door, 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 spinner, door, 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 door lever, door throttle, door, door, rotator, rotator door, door, what would that be called? Like a faucet, a faucet door, faucet, no, not a faucet door, it's a, it's a faucet. I, I don't know. What's, what's the word I'm looking for here? I can't think of the word. Oh, well. You know, you know what I mean. It's a faucet door. It's a door faucet. Whatever. Okay, and of course you can lock this one. And then we have the large door, which looks nice. And you can close it and go back in and go back out with no power. And I can show you that. Watch. No power. Look at this. Still works. No power. Okay, now if we lock it, what happens? I don't know. Let's find out. So it's locked. Can't open it. No power. Oh, you do need electricity for the locks. They're electric locks. All right, so this is all the doors. Hopefully this was helpful. I'm going to upload this to the workshop just so you can see all the different door types if you're new to Stormworks, and maybe that'll help you. Um, really excited about these doors. I think they're great. A lot of creations will spawn without electricity on, and the doors will just flop open and closed until you find where the circuit breaker is. With these, you can kind of move around the boat with no problem. So very cool. And that is it for today. Let's get out of here! Oh wait, I forgot to say. If you haven't hit the bell, go ahead and do so. So it goes ding dong when I upload a new video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time. Bye! I'm exiting out the door. I'm out of here. Bye!